Okay, so I'm going to try to make <clears throat> a quick video on how to start a cake business. I've had a lot of questions on um, starting starting one and needing, you know, just ideas or whatever. So this is my experience on how I started my business. I'm not a professional. You can seek professional help if that's what you want to do. So I don't need any comments below or anything like that. I have a list um, that I made so that I wouldn't forget anything or try not to. The first thing I do suggest if you're starting a business, cake pops, cupcakes, whatever, I would get this book, Start Your Own Business. This is the fourth edition. I got this a long time ago, so it's, I don't know, they probably have a new updated version, but it's very helpful and it's easy to read and I'm not um, big on reading, but it was easy for me to understand and very helpful for permits and things. Um, and whether I wanted to be an LLC or a corporation or something like that. Sorry, this shirt seems bright, but um, I'm in my bay window and it's the best lighting in the house right now. Um, the, oh, it froze for a second. The other thing you can do is go to your um, SBA, which is the Small Business Association, and there should be like a chapter or something um, or somewhere in your city or your county that you can find online and go to them and they should have some like free advice for you. The other thing you can do to get free advice and like a business plan and accountants and lawyers and stuff to help you, um, and I think it's for free, is through SCORE. It's um, an abbreviation, but anyway, you can go there and they should help you be able to start a business and kind of get an idea of cost and your market. Like that's the other thing that you need to know is if you have a market for what you want to do and where you're starting it or if it's just saturated with people and <clears throat> that are already doing what you want to do. Um, let's see. I decided on an LLC rather than doing a corporation or an S corporation or um, any of the other options that you have. Um, an LLC is a limited liability company and that means that like if somebody wanted to go ahead and sue my business and take all of what it was worth not that it's that much right now, but if they wanted to, then they couldn't go for my personal um, stuff. Like, they can't get my car or my house or anything like that. They could only get what the business has. So, I like that idea. Um, in the state of Iowa, in order to register as an LLC, you need to get together a piece of paper. It's called Articles of Organization. And you'll have to register that with the state. There's um, samples online that you can get or you can go to your local office supply and they have um, like DVDs. You can just put it right into your computer and, you know, type in and fill in um, the information and you send it in with it. I think I think I paid like $35 for mine. I don't know. It might have been more um, to the state to get registered with that. You're also going to need, most likely, depending on where you live, this is just where I live, but you need to register um, if you're not going to have the business in your official name. It's called a DBA, Doing Business As, and that is like My Girl's Cake Shop isn't my name, so I'm doing business as that, so you need to register with your county or your city um, to do that. There's a, thought I heard somebody knocking on my back door. There's a small fee for that, um, but just go down there and they'll let you know if anybody else in the county has has that same business name or anything like that. Um, you'll also want to find out about um, the local health department, whether they require you to have a license. Iowa, you don't have to um, have a separate kitchen like you do in, let's say, Illinois. Um, also, you're going to want to check with, there's like the business part I don't know I didn't have to do it so there's like the city business administration or something for your city you want to check with that to see if you have to register as a business that's basically how I did it when I registered my DBA but some places are different so you want to check that but that's kind of all in here too like once you get a book like this or this book um, it's going to have these things in there for you and startup money and stuff like that. I didn't have a lot of startup money. I'm a home-based business, so it's a little bit easier for me to um, start because I had cake pans and stuff like that available already. So it wasn't very. I didn't have to have a lot of startup money. You know, I already had a kitchen ma aid mixer. I knew I had an oven and a sink. You know, so it was just getting like ingredients, which isn't very, not too expensive. 
Uh, taxes, you're going to want to file taxes or get an EFN number, so that's the federal identification number. And um, you go to like, what is it called? Fed, IRS.gov, and you can file for that for your um, federal tax ID. Then also you're going to want to pay and figure out a uh, percentage of what you're going to have to pay to the state for state taxes because you're going to charge tax on your items. Um, it is retail and most states you have to charge for that so you're going to want to make sure you get registered with the state and then you can pay them like quarterly, half, you know, half the year or full year or I can't remember exactly what it is. I know I pay quarterly um, every three months and I can do it in online and I registered online as well. Um, if you want to hire a lawyer, you can. That's up to you. I didn't feel it was necessary for me to do. I did, although I did hire an accountant for the end of the year taxes. I did what you normally do, saved all my receipts. Um, you save like all your mileage and all that kind of stuff and then at the end of the year you take it into them and they kind of tell you what for business what you can get deducted and things like that. Um, insurance, you want to get insurance on your business. I go through American Family Insurance, it's pretty cheap, I pay like 50 or $60 a month or something like that. Um, I think it's a good idea to also get a logo or try to look as professional as possible instead of just getting like something made on Vistaprint or like Zazzle.com with all of their stock logos. Get your own um, logo made. I had mine done as um, inspiration of Rosie the River and I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it on my wall. No. Well, sort of. Anyway, um, that's what I had my logo based off of. I had gotten pictures taken and then I sent it in um, to Helium Design Company. They can, no matter where you are in the United States and probably Canada too, um, they can make you a logo. So that's something that you would want to look into. And I think it's Joshua Ballard is who I had and his um, partner is Robert Green, and they did an amazing job, job on my logo, I thought, and it wasn't too expensive. They also do websites, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, the pricing, uh, you guys have asked a lot of questions about pricing and how to break that down, and that all depends on whether you have a storefront or if you're home-based. Um, also, how long it takes you to, to make the products that you're making, how much your ingredients are in order, you know, to to make the cake. So what I suggest you do is get Cake Boss. Um, it's a program that you can get downloaded to your computer, and I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it breaks everything down, like what a teaspoon of vanilla costs, so you can figure that out. And that will help you. You can also put in the time amount on um, how much time it took you to make the cake or what you're estimating that it's going to take you to make the cake, and then it breaks it down per hour what you want to make. It also holds your client list, appointment list, all that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Marketing. When I first started doing the cake business, I just spent the money on um, get doing a bridal show. Chad, actually, my husband, he fronted the money for that, and it was like $300. I just did a small show, not a not the big show that we have. So a smaller show at one of the towns, and I started that way, and I got, I think, five or six weddings off of that, and then, you know, word of mouth. Getting a website is also important. Having the Facebook page. Signing up for Yahoo and Google for free just to have your um, business listed on the websites are good, and that's something, like I said, it's free to do. So that's kind of a way to market yourself or um, offering free things at benefits and gift certificates, things like that. Uh, trying to think of what else I've done in order to kind of get my name out there other than word of mouth. Um, that's all that I can think of right now. If there's anything else, I might comment below or something if I've forgotten, but there's so much to do when you start a business that it's kind of difficult to remember um, a year and a half later of everything that I had to get done. But those, those are just some ideas, so I wanted to post this real quick. I go on maternity leave here in a little bit. I'm due in September, so hopefully I'll be able to do more videos when I'm actually on maternity leave and figure out how to upload from my video camera, because Chad actually, we got a nice video camera for our wedding, and I don't know exactly how to use it or load it to this computer. So that's all I have. Thanks.